Frontline workers have the weight of the world on them right now. So, sportscasters at 1037 The Buzz and Little Rock are taking the edge off. Mowed lawns, by surprise, for free. Honestly, for your average show, this is nothing. I mean, this is just mowing a yard, but to us, um, because all we do is talk on the radio, this is us actually getting out of the community and saying, hey, we do care about you. We want you to be able to live your life as well as your work life. And when somebody comes home from a long day's work and you see that yard and it looks nice, it's cut, it's edged or whatever, that's pretty good. Maybe put a smile on your face. Super, super thankful, and I suck at mowing my grass. <laughs> Looks really good. I can't thank y'all enough. Like, I got up here trying to mow all my own, and it was not, it didn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, it's no worries at all. It's so sweet to even think about doing something like this, like a service like this for us. It's simple. Listeners send in addresses of nurses, doctors, and others in the thick of this pandemic. Then, the voices of Arkansas sports roll out. So, how did it all happen? It was RJ's idea. Uh, in a nutshell, he has a neighbor that's an RN, and she had been working, and she's single. She hadn't had anybody to do her yard, and as a good neighbor, he went over there and cut her yard. I just went over and cut her grass. Well, my wife put a picture of me doing it on social media, and it got like 300 comments and all these shares, and so I uh, thought to myself, well, this must be a pretty big deal. And tells me, hey, why don't we, and I said, I'm in already. Think about all the people that are working in hospitals, that are uh, on the front lines, that are taking care of everybody that's got the coronavirus. Care workers, all the doctors and nurses and RNs and everybody out there that are working extra, extra hours. They don't have time to do their regular chores around their house. And so if this is just something we can do that takes a little something off their plate, then that's why. I am a registered nurse at Arkansas Children's Hospital. I'm also a registered nurse at Drip Doctors of Arkansas. Thank you so, so no, much. No, did you know we were coming? Um, well, actually, she just told me like maybe an hour ago that she sent an email. I love it. So I had no idea. Um, she called me just like a while ago and um, and said, hey, so I sent this email to the buzz um, and they might be able to mow your grass for you. And I'm like, what? The message is even louder than the mowers. A big thank you with real meaning. Cutting off a basic chore that frontline workers might not have the time for. Well, it's time and stress value taken off. How am I going to juggle kids at home? and hard, you know, situations at work. Like, how do I juggle all this? And not having to worry about your your lawn <laughs> is way bigger than what, you know, most people might think. It's just one thing taken off of your stress list. So what we're doing here is just wanting to give a little bit back, something that we can do. And if it inspires somebody to, uh, to do the same thing for their neighbor, that's what we hope uh, is accomplished. Not every day does somebody say, I'm going to come mow your yard for free. Uh, maybe you can't cut the grass. Maybe it's take them a meal. Or maybe it's say, hey, I'll take your pet to the groomer if they're still open. We're just trying to do our own little part uh, uh, to say, hey, thank you. Uh, I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. We don't have a lot of brain power, but we can put our back into it. You might be thinking it's only mowing grass, but it's more than just one yard. Well, we started in Sherwood uh, this morning at about 10:30. Uh, we've got 12 or 10 houses total. Uh, we're in Bryant right now. Uh, we've got three houses left after this, and then we'll be done. We had a lady over in Sherwood the other day. She said she didn't even have time to wash her dishes, much less mow her yard. And um, you know, just see her tear up and and show a little bit of emotion makes you feel good. Makes you know that you're doing something right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's been a lot of sweat today <laughs> mowing everyone's lawn and knowing that. You know, y'all are taking the time out of your day, out of your regular routine to do something kind for, you know, for little OS, you know, on the front lines. It's so appreciated and it's a breath of fresh air to see acts of kindness. Sportscasters usually worry about the yards on a football field, but now it's yards in a neighborhood. For us as sportscasters, uh, I mean, it, yeah, there's nothing going on. We've actually, believe it or not, between the three of us, have turned it into a competition on how fast we can mow a yard. And welcome to the 2020 Cutting for a Cause Touchdown, Roger Scott. Nick Walters, Fox 16. Anchorman?